this first one, we're going to start off with somebody that we actually rated before, man. But the last time we rated him, he did a joint project with somebody else that we know. Um, I'm talking about my man Fuego Veli. Yeah. Shout out Fuego Veli. He dropped Phoenix. This is 11 tracks long, mm. about 29 minutes. What you think, bro? Damn, hold on. I don't remember the joint project. Who was that with? Him and Tomo. Ah, okay. Yeah, we didn't like it at all. <laughs> all right, well, here I stand again. <laughs> um, well, all right. All right, so look, he could write. Yes. Um, he could put the pen to the paper, and he could. he's putting his feelings out. He's on suicide watch. Wow. <laughs> Some of them emo records scare me, dog. Wow. They talk about, I don't know, like, if they feel like they got to do it on those type of beats. You know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about. about. And it was just the emo feel. I don't like those records. The cohesiveness was off. Like, there was the last record I liked a lot because he was rapping a a Karis. A Karis? A Karis? Icarus. Icarus. Yeah. You killed it. So... That record I I'm, like because he was. Oh man, ain't, ain't, you ain't read no like mythology growing up, huh, nigga? Icarus, nigga, you nigga, had nigga, it. Like, God you damn. had it. You had it. Let it rock. <laughs> that was my favorite record because he was rapping on that shit. And then the <laughs> other joints, it was just I was watching out for the boy. I was like, yo, all right, you in pain? How much pain you going through? And sometimes I be thinking they just doing that for them records. Mm. And it's like these pain records is popping now. Everybody's in pain now. Everybody got pain that they deal with. Not to say that you're not, King. <laughs> it's just more like... King. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want you know, protect yourself. He said, I ain't saying you not, King. <laughs> I hate you, nigga. <laughs> Whatever, keep going. But um, I, I appreciate the pen work. The pen game is strong, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know if you got to write for others uh, or switch up the production. Just rap, because you was doing that shit on Icarus. Yeah. Right? You like that shit on Icarus. Yeah, I liked Icarus. Um, <laughs> I, I don't really know what my favorite record was. Just, yeah, I don't just, have one. Just off the strength of this is not my type of music. But, I, you know what? My favorite record was Reposado. Oh, Reposado. That was a I good liked joint. Reposado, that was a good joint. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? Cause Actually, it was a good joint. I like Reposado, my nigga. You know what I mean? Even though I, Añejos really are go-to, but... Um, if I can't get no Añejo, I'm going to drink some Reposado. I mean, what other option is there? Blanco. Nah. The, but yeah, ain't nobody doing that. Right. But either way, um, I thought hearing Fuego by himself was a breath of fresh air in comparison to what I know him as because the last joint was, was, it was a joint effort, right? And when we think about these type of records, it's not that we think they're completely garbage. It's just not our type of music, right? It's a newer sound. Yeah. It's what There's gets... niggas that like this. Yeah, it's what get these young niggas going. You know what I mean? I'm and not going to judge them. I am, I'm, but not I'm, on here. I'm just not I'm just not the guy that gravitates towards this sound. Um, do I think... His authenticity is real, probably. Look, I'm going to tell you like this. So you you talking about feelings and shit, right? You talking that's about what he was the talking emo about. shit. And the, yeah, but like that's what you kind of don't care for, right? Yeah. These newer kids are like way more in tune with their feelings and their emotions. For real? Go. No, of course. Don't act like you don't fucking <laughs> that, We call them soft, right? We got to stop that. They don't like that. It's fine. We, we, you know what I found out? Weird is okay. Weird is great. Yeah, weird. Weird's right. always been great. Yeah, right. I mean, so, the thing is that when you're old, when you come from the era I'm from, again, born in 1975, grew up in the, like the first era of rap, um, we saw rappers as superheroes. Mm. Um, it was always, I'm the greatest, I'm this, I'm that. It was a lot of braggadocio. They're always talking about what they had, what they were going to do, who they were. Right. And then later on, we get into the crack era, and it was always from the perspective of the dealer. Always from the perspective of the dealer. And then when we get later on into this new era where it's more about like the opioid era, you can't have things go one way forever. 
If it's always from the perspective of the dealer, the dealer, the dealer, at some point you're going to get it from the perspective of the person the who's abusing. Right. And when you do that, you're going to get the full thing. Mm. It's going to be, this is what I'm going through. This is what I'm struggling with. This is how I feel. Because in the era of opioids, that's what the underlying thing is. So it always kills me when like older cats are like, it used to be like this. Now it's like this. Well, motherfucker, time has passed. Right. That's what happens. I mean, you can't expect things to stay the same. It doesn't mean we got to like it, though. No. I, no, abs- no, that's <laughs> yeah, not what it yeah, means. Yeah, but like it's it. just that you have to expect things to change. This well, is yeah, true. Because sure. the only things that don't change, they're already dead. You know? So you have Bad. to expect things are going to change. Just like, I like this type of music because everybody, I say every year is somebody's 1988. I turned 13 in 1988. So you always look at music from the perspective of when you were young, you get in the music between or art period, between the ages of nine and 13. That's when you're aware of everything. But the peak years of everything is between 13 and your early 20s. So you go 13 to 25 because after that, now life starts life in. Now you got a family. You're paying rent. You got a mortgage. You don't have time. Like you go to the club and you do whatever, but you don't have time to dedicate to whatever your interests are at all times. Right. Like you got to hustle. You got to survive. So you have a completely different perspective on life. So all that music that came out between the ages of 13 to maybe 21 Whatever year you were born in, that's always the hot shit. Just like when you were a kid. These, your era of growing up was always the best cartoons, always the best this, and everybody else's shit was trash. It's an, it's an ongoing cycle, right? So with music, it's the same thing. I don't feel this. I don't like this. But it's not being made for you. You just have to keep that in mind. Like, I, I don't want to be the old dude hating on the next generation because I got to see it happen. I remember the fucking day I was born, damn near. So I got to see it all happen. My well, older brother hated DOS effects. That's you got to think about it like this, right? So if we're talking about the young dude's music, that's what I always say. Like, it ain't made for us, yeah. right? And that's okay, too. You know what I mean? Like, but that doesn't make it sonically bad. I like this project. Like, yeah. when I heard this, I was like, yo. And, and it might have been because we was at FET, mm-hmm. right? We ran into Fuego. And he was like, yeah, nigga, you gave my last shit some bullshit score or whatever. Oh, oh. And he was cool about it. He was laughing about it. And he was like, nah, I got this fire shit called Phoenix about to drop. And I said, okay. He's like, I want y'all to rate it. He sent me the, the project when it dropped. Um, I didn't know what to expect. But even though it's not my type of music, it's probably not some shit that I'm probably going to replay again over and over. It was a breath of fresh air. It was cool. It was, it was some good it was, records it was, it on was there. Fun. It was some good records. It was fun. And I liked Reposado because he was talking about some shit that, you know, young dudes do with young women. You know what I mean? He's, like, into, he's into the music, man. You can hear the ear. Like, he's wide. Like, the variety of music that he's intaking is really wide. Like, right. I want to ask if he was hitting the guitar on the end of one of them joints. What song was that? I forgot the name of it. Cause it was it Sunset was, Drive? Got the name, but he was. It sounded like he was. It was a solo of him hitting the guitar. I want to know if that was him. Yeah, I mean, I like the joint with him and Hoss. That was uh, gone slash karma. Um, you know, again, I said Reposado was my favorite. Send it up was cool. Um, and Icarus was a really good way to to wrap it all up, right? Because he was rapping. Yeah. Um, he 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 actually wrapped his face off, and that's. The whole story of the Phoenix and Icarus, man. You can do your research yeah, later. Yeah, about to go Google <laughs> Yeah, later. I mean. Um, but out of five red cups, man, let's talk about what we gave this. We talking about my man Fuego Veli. Yeah. Phoenix, we gave this a solid 3.7. <laughs> out of five, man. Keep grinding, my nigga. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep creating, bro.